Hey guys, this is Dirk with another FromWhereIDrone.com tutorial. Basically what I wanted to show you today was one of my favorite tips inside of Lightroom using the graduated filter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and show you an example where I have a dark sky. Obviously it's a lot more blue in this image. So I'm going to come over here to this flat image and I'm going to add a quick little filter, one of my free presets. And of course, the sky gets a little bit too blown out, so I could come over and add a graduated filter by coming over here or selecting M as the shortcut and then click and dragging these lines out. And you see it's kind of like wobbly, so if I hold shift, it locks straight in place. And I basically want to now show you what happens when I darken that. Just the sky darkens, or I can go the opposite way with exposure and it blows out. You have access to all these settings and it only affects where you just laid that mask down. So you can play with these and different photos call for different things. Um, but all of these settings only affect, in this case, the top portion of the photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset that and I'm going to drag out my mask and I'm going to darken my sky. So I have a nice dark blue sky here. And then what I would do in this situation is, of course, I have this sun blowing out, bright light. So I'm going to just exaggerate that to give it a more natural effect. And there's definitely a fine line between using too much of this filter. And I want to show you an example of like too much. Like that's obviously crazy. So, you know, you might want to back it off a little bit to get a different effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now this example and kind of show you how I built this image. I'm going to come to the photo here and you can see I have my graduated filter because there is sky. So if I wanted to have more sky, of course I could bring the exposure down and I get dark clouds or I could blow it out and I kind of like the blowout to an infinity look. But one other way you could use this same filter is, you know, you can click and drag out another graduated filter and hold shift to keep that constrained and straight and you can darken the foreground or the ground or you can you know blow out the ground what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna darken it and then one other cool little tip is you can add some color to it so if you click right here in this little box you can you know start to colorize it and you know you probably guessed it I probably used a color over here to get that you know warm look and that's basically how I built this uh, effect I'm gonna come over here now to this image and this is a little exaggerated but I just wanted to show you how you can have some fun with this I'm going to come to the flat image. Again, this is unedited. Real quick, I'm going to come and make sure I straighten it so now it's nice and straight. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to come right next to the graduated filter and come over here to the radial filter. filter. I'm going to click and drag out an ellipse and I'll show you what this does. What it does is it darkens everything outside of the ellipse, but I can invert this mask and now it's only going to affect what's inside. So of course you can darken, you can blow out. Um, you can also change the way it feathers. Does it gradually come on or is it a harsh line? But what I'm gonna do is put this back and I'm gonna come over here and add some color. You can naturally see some of the pink and orange. So I'm gonna come over here and just kind of exaggerate that. And then to this side, I'm gonna drag out another mask and you can see this side's a little more blue, so click over here. And I'm just kind of exaggerating this, and I need to invert it. So now you see I'm only adding blue to this section. Again, that's probably a little too much, but just to make sure it looks and translates to my screen recording, I'm gonna keep it kind of exaggerated. And then, you know, I'm gonna come back over here to my graduated filter and kind of brighten up these sand dunes and maybe make them a little more white instead of this dull, kind of yellowish color, so I'm just gonna brighten them up and maybe bring, pull back some of the saturation. And now, of course, if I do a before and after, I have a completely you know, different image. So there's, those are just some examples I wanted to show you guys using the graduated filter and the radial filter. If you guys want, feel free to download these free presets I made in the link below, and I hope that helps you guys.